Look over my shoulder and watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. This raw video is from a photo walk on January 26, 2017 in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, and that is in the United States. This walk was in my NC Creekside Nature Preserve. Let's take a look at what we have here today. I have some raw footage of a Carolina wren going out for a photo walk today. I parked and before I could even get out of the vehicle, this little bird landed in a branch a few feet in front of me and proceeded to sing and sing and sing. I got out of my vehicle as quietly as I could and I proceeded to get the camera out and try to quickly set it on something to stabilize it and uh, get this bird singing. And uh, let's look at what I've got here. I've got good audio except for some <laughs> rustling because the camera was sitting on a platform that <laughs> wasn't designed to be a tripod. And uh, I've got this Carolina Wren just singing away and singing away. So I have uh, Oh, a minute and a half or so of uh, video here. And uh, I solved the problem with the scratching noise. I solved a little bit of the uh, shake problem right there. And then I proceeded to get uh, five or six good song periods out of the little Carolina Wren. So let's see what we can do with it here. You can see on the uh, raw video over here, I have the audio track displayed. And you can see exactly when the songbird sings on the audio track. And you can actually see the scratchiness in the audio track at the very beginning and on the audio track there in the middle. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make an endpoint here and uh, we'll make an out point up here and we'll grab this section of video that's the cleanest audio wise and we'll drag it down to our timeline here. Now we can see the distinct song periods of when he's singing here and uh, let's just watch a little bit of it now the camera was still not sitting on a very solid platform for stabilization and the problem is that when you have a 50 times optical zoom on your camera like I do 
and you zoom in the entire way and focus, then uh, it's subject to <laughs> any slight movement or breath that you take that camera moves around so it's very difficult without the tripod and I did try to get the tripod out and set up but of course the bird flew away by the time I got the tripod out so let's take this little video clip and see what we've got here lengthwise it's looking like uh, we're in the 34 second category so we could uh, trim a couple seconds off the front and a couple seconds off the back here. And uh, let's just see what we're working with here now. There's 31 seconds for a clip. Let's display that the whole way across here now so our our clip here is uh, just a little over 30 seconds here now so let's take a little off the front and let's add a little on the end or just we'll trim it to 30 seconds on this end here All right, now let's select the whole thing and we're going to go up to our inspector and we're going to go to video and we're going to stabilize the video clip. So let's look at that process here now. So it's analyzing for the dominant motion in the video clip. And if we look in the upper left hand corner, we'll actually see the process that it's making here and uh, there we can see it started up so it's really going to take the shake out and you can see right there that it just cropped it a little bit and that's how much shake it's taking out it's taking out uh, the shake by moving the video around inside the frame so it makes the frame a little bit smaller and uh, it will take the shake out of the video and uh, then it goes through a rendering process which um, really is that creation frame by frame of the new video properly centered on the smaller frame of video there so it's quite elaborate what it does and it usually does a pretty good job here in Final Cut Pro X on a Mac and uh, it's done now so if we look at that get rid of the uh, extra box there and now we have a, a lot more stabilized photo there and the lighting was pretty darn poor a very overcast day and uh, a very bright background whenever you do that you tend to silhouette the the subject the bottom of his body is dark but the the head is is not too bad so I think what I'm going to try to do in this is over the course of the clip I'm going to try to zoom into his head a little bit to really focus on his uh, singing and the effort he's putting into the singing there and maybe take away the little of the lower section of the of the uh, clip here so we're going to go up to our crop tool and we're going to go to Ken Burns Ken Burns allows us to crop with motion it allows us to uh, take out some of the the video and kind of zoom in I'm gonna flip this around so that the start is the full frame and when we end we're gonna be zoomed in a little bit and we can really adjust how much we zoom in 
the arrow sort of points at the overall direction of, of the pan that'll happen because of our Ken Burns effect. And when we hit done, we can see how zoomed in will actually be there. So let's uh, take a look at our clip now. And you can just barely detect that over the course of time, we're kind of, <laughs> because of the way the, the camera was stabilized and stuff, we're kind of floating in and zooming in at the same time too the bird so we can see him uh, singing close up and that's the end of our clip all right now I'm going to add a transition to the end here and in this case I'm gonna do what's called a dissolve so we'll uh, dissolve the black and uh, we want to start dissolving the black once he's done singing. So let's take a look at that now. There we go. And that's our 30 second nature video.